Brush. Camby Brown is painting for a cause. She's live in Roseville with how you can get involved too. Hi, Camby. Good morning. So this is a cause near and dear to my heart, and it happens to be near and dear to Elma's heart as well, Ms. California, United States. And we're here. We're joined by Art by Kenny, by the way. He's giving us an idea of uh, what they're going to be painting on Friday. He has the finished product, but he's actually showing us how easy it is to do this. You've actually done this I before have. the painting events. Mm -hmm. It really makes an artist out of everybody, right? Correct. Yeah. I was telling you, I have zero artistic ability, and doing these paint nights has been a really great way to do something fun. And I actually go home with something that looks like I knew what I was doing. Yeah, and now it is a great way to not only have fun and have a beautiful art piece for your home, but also as a way to give back. So let's talk about ovarian cancer and how this became an important thing to you. Right. So um, last year, September 2015, my grandmother lost her battle with ovarian cancer. And at the same time, I was getting really involved with pageants. So I have used it as my platform to really educate others in how to be aware of the early detection signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer. And I figured this is a great way to do something fun, um, get out with your girlfriends. There's even some guys that are going to be coming, and we can all learn about ovarian cancer and do something great. And what, what happens is a lot of people don't know about ovarian cancer or about what the symptoms are because a lot of times it doesn't get diagnosed until it is in what, like stage four and that is very dangerous for people. So what would you want people who are watching to know about the early detection for ovarian cancer? So yeah, what you're saying is absolutely correct. There is no diagnostic test for ovarian cancer at this time. So it's really important to really know your body, listen to those symptoms. A lot of times it's really, you know, normal, common, everyday things like feeling fatigue, um, bloatedness, things like that. So it's really important important to be your own um, advocate. Yeah, and Elena's saying that her grandma lost her, her life to ovarian cancer. My Grammy actually had ovarian cancer when she was at the age of 18. And so because of that, doctors really keep a close eye on both my mom and I because anybody who has it that early, uh, they get very concerned about the genetic uh, disease because the genetics for breast cancer and ovarian cancer are connected. And so if you have someone in your, in your life who has had breast cancer, you also should be concerned about ovarian cancer as well. And that's why it's so important to be raising money. So the, on Friday, Yes. You guys are going to have this pain event, and where is the money raised going to go? So I work with two organizations in California, and I have decided that I'm going to make a donation in my grandmother's name to both of those organizations. Okay, what are those So the Ovarian Cancer Coalition of California, as well as um, the Jag Solanke Memorial Fund, okay. and that's here in Sacramento. Okay, wonderful. And so if people want to sign up, it's happening on Friday. You have a few spots available. I It'll do. be a lot of fun. It'll be here at the Glue Factory. Of course, Art by Kenny yeah. going to be making sure everyone's an artist. And so what do they need to do to get tickets? So you can actually go to Eventbrite and the uh, link is going to be I guess linked right after this. Yes. Um, so it's going to be on Eventbrite. You can buy your tickets online. No tickets will be available um, at the door unfortunately so you'll have to do that ASAP. Okay. I think of last night as of last night I had about eight spots available. So. Okay perfect and so yes we will have that on our website as well. It is gooddaysacramento.com. You can click on show information and we'll have the link to that Eventbrite so that you can be able to uh, come on out here on Friday. Kenny, that is looking very good. That's quick, too. My gosh. Gee. Yeah, yeah, you look good. <laughs> I know. Great. Thank you, Cammy. And there are the details. We'll make sure we put that on gooddaysacramento.com.